All right, we're, we're here in Stillwater, Minnesota with Tom and Travis with the TA Shifsky auction that's gonna be happening on April 17th. I'm Travis Marin, shop foreman, Shifskys. Uh, I'm Tom Shifsky. Uh, I am the fleet manager here and also the aggregate manager. And you guys have been with the company for how long? Since I was 10, so 21 years. Family business. Family right. business. Officially employed for nine years. But right. Been around, I was a little kid riding in the loader bucket in the summertime. Yep. <laughs> the winter time, we kind of went through everything to make sure everything was ready for the full season for the next upcoming year. And then the summertime was just maintaining and keeping all the wheels turning and cylinders firing. Everything from brake jobs, DOTs, pavers would be complete, uh, auger bearing, conveyor chain, rebuilds. Yeah, so like this building right here, we kept uh, most of the paving equipment indoors. A lot of things with a lot of exposed electronics, so like pavers, obviously the panels are all... And then an open uh, cab basically yeah. was inside. Anything with an open cab that had, a lot, especially things that had a lot of electronics, we were able to store inside, which we did because we know how electronics can be. So skid the loaders, they were yeah, indoors. Skid loaders were mostly indoors. and. You know, some of the other things kind of rotated depending on. During the summertime, half the truck drivers would park their trucks indoors because the buildings would be empty. Um, as far as brand, um, like in your trucks and different things, you have, you know, Kenworth and Peterbilt for the most part. Is it is that because of the service, because of the brand, because of the way, you know, loyalty? What? We started out mostly with Louisville Fords because my family's always been a Ford family. So we had Louisville Fords and then Ford turned into Sterling. They bought them out when Sterling stopped being made and. I think 07, 08. Then we started looking around and we kind of went, you know, Peterbilt and Kenworth are usually kind of the best. And we had decent luck with them. So we started buying Kenworths and Peterbilts is mostly what we did. And, you know, a lot of the older stuff, we like cat engines. So like a lot of the Louisvilles we still have and some of the older Kenworths, they all had cat engines because, you know, you can get parts for them and they just run and run and run. So it's, you know, some of the best, you know, We've had the best luck with them, and it seems like everyone else does too. So that's kind of why we pick those when it comes to the trucks. Um, some of the things like the motor graders, it was, you know, the operators, they all were cat operators. So it's like, we want a cat motor grader. It's like our 140Hs, we rebuilt them, you know, put a lot of money into both of them because the operators specifically like the H series uh, grader. But then like some of the other things like the Bowmeg rollers, we always had really good luck with Bowmeg rollers and a little more inexpensive than a cat but they just run and we got good service with the dealer we deal with so you know that's why we usually went with them but for the most part yeah cat has always been top with service you can always get parts for a cat so that's part of the reason why we mostly went cat uh, i mean i'd tell them they're good dozers all all those dozers in that line are all good dozers you know we bought the d5k new and the 6Ks were slightly used, but they all came from Ziggler's, you know, so they were maintained from them, the ones that were used. And then uh, the guys that ran them were very much, it was their machine and they took care of it. Very meticulous. And then very in the winter, meticulous. I mean, we'd go through all the extra work every winter, drop all the skid plates and whatnot underneath from the dirt building up so they didn't build up and rub on the motor. Just, just routine know, maintenance. Just trying to keep them. Keep them clean, shovel tracks in the summer and just, keep on top of the undercarriages and yeah. more keep preventative to keep them to make the next season. We tried to do as much preventative maintenance as we can with a lot of things just because it's just... Downtime's too expensive. Yeah, downtime's too expensive and in this state when you only have six months to work it's like you know it's like losing if you lose a week you actually lost two weeks of time so it's we gotta keep everything rolling and you know keep it up to snuff otherwise it's just more headaches for us so the motor graders these three motor graders motor you know all of them yellow lost. iron the motor graders for sure they weren't always down on the dirt and the mud. They got to stay a little cleaner. They did the finishing product and the guys who drove were proud of them and we were proud of them in the shop. And Yeah, because we, we put a bunch into both of them in the past three years, one one year and then the other the next year. And that's why they have newer paint jobs on them because we just go through all of them, clean them all up, make sure everything's good, tight. And because they were finished grade machines. Yeah. So so like these motor graders, that's why we, we redid the circles on both of them and there's a, parts list a mile long, but we had Ziggler's go through them and we put a bunch of money into both of them because when you're fine grading a road, you know, a 10th of asphalt over a mile is a lot of money. So it's like, if, 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 if this is the spec, you want to be right on that spec. If you can be, otherwise, if you're, you know, a 10th of an inch too low, 
oh, that's a lot of, you know, how many loads of asphalt is that? Well, it's, you know, $1,500, $2,000 a load. You know, yeah. if you put another five, 10 loads in, that's a lot of money. April 17th, there's gonna be hundreds of items for sale. We're gonna have three open inspection dates, April 6th, April 10th, and April 13th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. You're welcome to come out, walk through the equipment. There's gonna be, be people on site to operate it and run it so you can see all the functions that you would need to see. All the items are gonna be found and online at purplewave.com. We're straight, we're simple, we're sold, purplewave.com.